Hello, everyone. Welcome to Land Based Play. My name is Erin. I use the pronouns she and her, and I will be the one that we will be speed spending time with today. So before we begin, I'm going to just share with you our agenda for today. First, we're going to start by reading the land acknowledgement, as well as reading about the African ancestral acknowledgement together. Then we're going to sing a couple of songs, read some stories, and have more songs and stories focused on animals today. And then afterwards, I got some special videos I'd like to share with you all. So are we ready to begin? Let's do this. So first I'm going to share my screen so that we can read the land acknowledgement together. This is our land acknowledgement right here. And there are going to be some words that might not be so easy to pronounce. There are brackets right here that tell you exactly how to say them. And if you're not sure how to say them, then we can learn it together. All right, so let's begin. Land acknowledgement statement for children's programs. Haudenosaunee, Mississauga, and Anishinaabe nations came together with all their relations. Living together, they had a united wish to share the land and waters in peace like one spoon with a dish. Now many indigenous families, Métis and Inuit too, live here in treaty agreement with me and you. In the spirit of peace, friendship, and mutual respect, we protect each other and the land, which we should never forget. And now this is our African ancestral acknowledgement that we can read together. It goes like this. I would like to acknowledge that not all people came to these lands as migrants and settlers. Specifically, I wish to acknowledge those of us who came here involuntarily, particularly those brought to these lands as a result of the transatlantic slave trade and slavery. I pay tribute to those ancestors of African origin and descent. Though I am not a person of African descent, I am committed to continually acting in support of and in solidarity with black communities seeking freedom and reparative justice in the light of the history and ongoing legacy of slavery that continues to impact black communities in Canada. Again, I invite you to join me in that work and hold me accountable to this commitment. Thank you for reading those together with me. Now we will start by singing some songs together. The first song I'd like to sing is a song that can welcome us all in together. Before I begin, because we cannot see my whole body and this song has me with actions in it, I'm going to ask at one point to put our hands on our knees. On screen, I'm going to look like this. Do we know where our knees are? I'll show you. On our leg, our knees are right here. So when we have our hands on our knees, we're gonna put our hands on our knees. So now let's begin. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Let me see. Let me see. Shake your fingers like this. Shake your fingers like this. Put them on your knees. Put them on your knees. Are we ready? Are we ready? Let me see. Let me see. Shake your fingers like this. Shake your fingers like this. Put them on your knees. Put them on your knees. All right. Now our next song. We're going to be singing about the roly poly. As we sing this song, we'll be moving our arms like this and we'll be acting in opposites, such as up and down, out and in. Do we all know what the roly poly is? Do we all know the little potato bugs we see in the summer, the round little bugs. That is the bug that we will be singing about in this song. All right, so let us begin. Roly poly, roly poly, up, 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 up. Roly, roly poly, roly, roly poly, down, 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 down. Roly poly, roly poly, out, 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 out. Roly, roly poly, roly, roly poly. In, 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 roly poly, roly poly, fast, 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 roly, roly poly, roly, roly poly, slow, 
slow, slow, slow, slow, slow. Rolly, pulley, rolly, pulley. Loud, 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 loud. Rolly, rolly, pulley, rolly, rolly, pulley. Rolly, pulley, rolly, pulley. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Rolly, rolly, pulley. Rolly, rolly, pulley. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. And that was Rolly, pulley. Next song that I'd like for us to sing together is a song about five little ducks. The five little ducks decided to go out and play one day. Can we count the ducks together? We've got one, two, three, four, five. These are our five little ducks. Let's get them all nice so that we can see them all. And then this will be their adult duck. This song goes a little something like this. Five little ducks went out to play over the hills and far away. Father duck said quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. So we have mother duck here, but what if it's not just a mother duck? Maybe it could be a father duck too. So now we'll sing about a father duck. Ready? Four little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away. Father duck said quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. Only three. Well, that probably really upsets father duck, but what if it's not just father duck? Maybe we have a grandparent. So now we will sing this as grandparent duck. Are we ready? Three little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away. Grandfather duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Only two, but maybe it's not just a grandparent in this family. Maybe we have and a caregiver that is not related to the ducks by blood. So we will call this one the caregiver duck. Are we ready? Two little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away. Caregiver duck quack, 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 quack. But only two, one little duck came back. Oh, for a second, we almost had both of them, but we only have one still. So if we're not quite sure if the adult duck is male or female or what pronouns to use, we can call them adult. So this will be our adult duck. Let's sing one more time with our adult duck. One little duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Adult duck said quack, 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 quack. But no little ducks came marching back. We can't have the song end like that. Let's have adult duck sing one more time. Are we ready? Adult duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Adult duck said quack, 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 quack. And all five little ducks came back. Here we go, we reunited the family of ducks. All right, so now that we've sung a couple of songs together, Let's start with a story. Since we're doing animals today, I thought what better story to read than Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? Are we familiar with this book? If you have your own book at home like this, you can pull it out and we can read it together. So let's begin. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? Written by Bill Martin Jr. and pictures by Eric Carle. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Oh, 
Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Pages are a little stuck, but we're gonna see. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish. What do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children. What do you see? We see a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep, a goldfish, and a teacher looking at us. That's what we see. And that's the end of Brown Bear, Brown Bear. Lots of animals in this book. Did you have any favorites from the animals that you've seen? You can even like certain animals of a type, like maybe you really like eagles, it's a type of bird, or maybe you really like lions, which is like a type of cat. Lots of wonderful animals to choose from. Maybe we can do a little activity together. Let's go through this book one more time, but instead of reading it together, we're going to make animal noises. So starting with our bear. Do we know what sounds bears make? You know, bears can go, grr, grr, <laughs> Those are some of the sounds that bears can make. What about birds? There are so many different kinds of bird sounds. I know that some people can whistle to make bird tunes. I cannot do that, but one thing I can do Chirp, 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 chirp like a bird would. Or maybe some birds will go tweet, 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 tweet. What kind of bird sounds do you like to make? We just sang a song about ducks. What sounds do ducks make? That's right. They like to go quack, 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 quack. Or if we really want to try to make a duck sound, we can make our voices very deep and go quack, quack, quack. Or if we want to pretend to be ducks, we can flap our wings, quack, quack. Oh, our horse. Horses are wonderful animals. They make such a fun sound. What sound do we horses make? Nay, nay. <laughs> Yes, they can even just go, but 
They mostly go nay, nay. If we want really quickly for fun, we can make horse walking sounds. So we have our knees here, our hand here, and our other hand here. We can just go. There we go. Make our hand bounce a bit. Kind of sounds like a horse running. Sounds a lot better on your thigh than your knee, but I thought it would be easier to see on the knee. Now moving on to our next animal sound, we've got a frog. The frogs like to go ribbit, 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 or maybe they'll go like frog, frog. The croaking noises of the frog, frog. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Now we have the cat. What sounds do cats make? That's right, it's meow, meow. Or we can even just go like meow, meow. These are some of the sounds that cats make. And next we have the dog. There are some ways we can make dog sounds. What's your favorite way to make a dog sound? Yes, that's right. Woof, woof, woof. Like W O O F. Or you can go like A R F. Or even ruff, ruff, ruff. Like rough. R U F F. Those are some fun ways to make dog sounds. And now we've got a sheep. What kind of sounds do sheep make? If sheep talk, maybe they would make these sounds, but instead they go ba, ba, like B A A, or even ba, ba, like M E A, ba. Next, we have the goldfish. This one is a little interesting, not really a sound that we can hear, but the sounds that we do make for goldfish sound something like this. Like little air bubbles that come out of their mouth. <laughs> what sounds do teachers make? Well, the sounds that teachers can make, as you children just saw today, we can make like sounds or Tweet, 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 or even quack, 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 or nay, or even ribbit, ribbit, rock, 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 or even meow, 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 or like a dog, woof, woof, rock, rock. Some dogs might even go, yeah, yeah, yeah. They go, ba, 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 or the goldfish has the look, look, look. Those are some of the sounds that teacher has made today. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of fun. Now that we've read our story, maybe we can do a couple more songs together. Some songs that I was thinking of, maybe we can do, oh, other animals. We don't talk too much about the sea creatures, but like the goldfish, we can sing a song about sharks. This song we're probably all very familiar with, Baby Shark. If you're not familiar with it, it goes something like this. Baby shark, do, 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 do. Baby shark, do, 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 do. Baby shark, do, 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 do. Baby shark. Mama shark, do, 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 do. Mama shark, do, 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 do. Mama shark, do, 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 do. Mama shark. Daddy shark do 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 daddy shark do 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 daddy shark do 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 daddy shark grandma shark do 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 grandma shark do 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 grandma shark do 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 grandma shark grandpa shark do 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 grandpa shark do 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 grandpa shark do 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 grandpa shark let's Go hunt, do 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 do. Let's go hunt, do 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 do. Let's go hunt, do 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 do. Let's go hunt. 
Run away, do 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 do. Run away, do 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 do. Run away, do 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 do. Run away. Safe at last, do 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 do. Safe at last, do 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 do. Safe at last, do 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 do. Safe at last. That's the end. Do 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 do. That's the end. Do 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 do. That's the end. Do 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 do. That's the end. Ah, remember how I said before with the song of the ducks that maybe not all ducks or caregivers or parents are going to be moms or dads. We can also sing about the adult shark. Do 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 do. Adult shark. Do 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 do. Adult shark. Do 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 do. Adult shark. Or even like just a caregiver shark. Do 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 do. Caregiver shark. Do 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 do. Caregiver shark. Some fun ways to change up a familiar song for all of us, maybe including some families that we don't always include in songs like these. Now, let's see, I have a little small list of songs for myself because I want to make sure we get lots of animal songs today for our theme of animals. Next one, we talked about creatures and there's also insects. We sang about the roly poly, and now we have the itty bitty spider. That's another song about our friendly creatures, the spiders. You ready to begin? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water step. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. But one day, itsy bitsy spider ate lots of food and became a very big spider. So now we have the great big spider went up the water step. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great big spider went up the spout again. Then one day, the great big spider had lots of teeny weeny spiders. So now we have the teeny weeny spider went up the water step. Down came the rain and washed the spider up. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the teeny weeny spider went up the spout again. Oh, are we not done with this song yet? Because I'm most certainly not. We've got one more spider for you. With this one, we call it the rock and roll spider. Those familiar with how we sing it here, we pick an instrument of our choice, whether we want to do a guitar or maybe some drums or maybe a recorder. I want to play the flute today. So my rock and roll spider will be a rock and roll flute. <laughs> this one goes something like this. The rock and roll spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the rock and roll spider went on to rock again. There we go. That was great. That was great. Now, continuing with our theme of animals, we've got another story with us today. This is a story that is called Zoe and the Fawn. This one says words by Katherine Jameson and pictures by Julie Flett. One thing to note about this story before we begin is that we are going to be seeing some words that are going to be in a brown mandatory here that is not in English. These words are in Okanagan, and these are, the these are going to be words on um, what the Okanagan language will say for the words in brackets. So here we have fawn and the word in red here. So I think that is a very nice option that this story has for us today. So now let us begin. Zoe and the fawn. Zoe and her dad go outside to give the horses food and water. Dad brings his camera to take pictures of the new foal. Up 
outside the yard, Zoe and her dad see something moving under a tree. What can that be, Zoe asks. Let us go back, says dad. Zoe and her dad see a little spotted fawn curled up under an aspen tree. Zoe and her dad go to take a closer look, but not too close, says dad. Zoe and the fawn look at each other. Zoe smiles and the fawn's ears perk up Dad takes a picture. Where is the fawn's mother? Zoe asks her dad. Zoe and her dad look all around the grove. Let us look for her, says dad. They walk over a small hill covered with flowers and see a beautiful red wicker land in a tree. Is that bird the fawn's mother? Zoe asks. No, it is not, says dad. Where can she be? Zoe wonders. They look in the tall green grass and find a small brown rabbit sleeping soundly. Is that rabbit the fawn's mother? Zoe asks. No, it is not, says dad. Where can she be? Zoe wonders. Zoe and her dad walk farther, past the green grass and down to the creek. They see a rainbow trout jumping in the water. Is that fish the fawn's mother? Zoe asks. No, it is not, says dad. Where could she be? Zoe wonders. Beyond the creek, Zoe and her dad look all around, but they do not see the fawn's mother. So they turn around and walk back toward the creek. They see the rainbow trout jump and swim deep. Zoe says, that is not the fawn's mother. They walk through the tall green grass and see the little brown rabbit hop, hop, hop away. Zoe says, that is not the fawn's mother. They walk over a small hill covered with flowers and see the beautiful red flicker fly away. So he says, that is not the fawn's mother. Zoe and her dad look all around. Where can she be, sighs Zoe. They walk down the other side of the small hill through the wildflowers.
Look, the fawn and her mother, says Zoe. They are curled up under the aspen tree. Zoe smiles and the fawn's ears perk up. Dad takes another picture. Now we will go finish our chores, says dad, and the horses whinny with delight. Who here remember the sound of what the horse would make? Me. <laughs> that is the end of our story. Zoe and the fawn. Thank you for reading that story with me today. Now, before we start wrapping up, I want to share a few more little animal videos that I have taken throughout Ontario. I think maybe this will be a fun little thing as we are talking about animals so much today. So I'm going to share my screen now that I have found my video. Let's see, share sound. And we have our first animal. Can we take a good guess at what this is? So in that video, we actually had robins in a bird bath. They are a type of bird. And you can hear the little cheep, cheep, tweet, tweet in that video there. Or at least I hope you can. One fascinating thing about robins themselves is that they lay greenish blue eggs. Very fascinating indeed. Next one I have is this. So that animal might have looked familiar, but we're not quite sure what it's called. Maybe a beaver, or you might think it's an otter or a mink. So I actually reached out to an animal society to check. And the animal that I filmed is called a muskrat. That is the animal that we have in that video today. In that video, I'm not quite sure about the sound of muskrats, but as you can see, it's swimming in the water. It might be similar to a fish where it makes a bubble sound. Blip, 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 blip. Blip, blip, blip or splash, splash, as it's swimming through the water. I have one last video that I'm going to share with you all today. All right, so keen eyes might have seen what that video was called when I played it, but that was a bird kind of animal. Are we familiar with what that one was called? Maybe we recognize it for its pattern, or maybe we recognize it for the kind of beak it had, 
or for how it used its beak. That's right, the woodpecker uses its beak. Let's pretend this is our mighty tree for a second here. We've got our tree. The woodpecker would look for food and nutrients, tapping its beak in objects to be able to find what it's looking for. So those were some of the animal videos I had to share with us all. And now, as we start ending our program for today, I'd like to sing maybe a final song or two. Maybe one song and I'll keep this one brief, but Zoe and the Fawn mentioned a sleeping rabbit. We sing a song about sleeping rabbits. So in honor of Zoe and the Fawn, let's sing a couple of verses of the animals in that story. See the sleeping bunny sleeping all day long. One o'clock, two o'clock, I wonder what is wrong. They are so still, I think they must be ill. Are we ill, sleeping rabbits? No. Wake up, sleeping bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Wake up, sleeping bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Wake up, sleeping bunnies, hop, and stop. What was another animal that we saw from Zoe and the fawn? Maybe we saw, let's pull up a page right here. That's right, we saw a flicker. And as a flicker looks to be a type of bird, we can always go tweet, tweet, tweet. Are we ready? See the sleeping flicker sleeping all day long. One o'clock, two o'clock, I wonder what is wrong. They are so still. I think they must be ill. Are we ill, sleeping flickers? No. Wake up, sleeping flickers. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Wake up, sleeping flickers. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Wake up, sleeping flickers. Tweet, tweet, tweet. All right, let's do one more. Hmm, maybe we should do the fawn itself since the fawn reunited with its mother. Deers are not particularly known animal to make strong sounds, so we can always do an action. We like to gallop, gallop. We can go gallop, gallop, gallop. Are we ready? See the sleeping fawn sleeping all day long. One o'clock, two o'clock, I wonder what is wrong. They're so still, I think they must be ill. Are we ill, sleeping fawn? No. So we wake up, sleeping fawn. Gallop, gallop, gallop. Wake up, sleeping fawn. Gallop, gallop, gallop. Wake up, sleeping fawn. Gallop, gallop, gallop. All right, that was wonderful. Now I say we finish this off with our final song for today. So this is a song just to remind each other how much we all love and care about one another. It goes something like this. I love you, you love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say I love you too? And remember, if we're not comfortable with giving hugs, we don't have to. Or giving a kiss, you don't have to. You can always say no. So instead, we can always say, uh, instead of a great big hug, we can say a wave or maybe an elbow bump. So let's say that instead. I love you, you love me. We're a happy family with a great big wave and a bump for me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Thank you so much for seeing today's program.